Hey, it's George Brown here, and welcome to video three. And in this video, basically, what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you how to create what's called the, or what I like to call the foundations of your sniper site. Okay, so if this is your first um, Google Sniper campaign, then please listen closely. Okay, if you're someone more experienced, it's likely that you'll already be able to do some of this stuff, but um, there's still going to be some tips in here you're probably going to want to pick up that are specific to the way we do things at Sniper and obviously it does work pretty well so um, I highly suggest watching even if you're more advanced okay so first of all the first thing I want to explain is just kind of a brief overview of obviously how the internet kind of works um, and of obviously at the core of the internet is essentially websites okay so if you're going to do anything online really you are going to need some form of a website now now in Google Sniper we do things slightly differently you know we're not going to be building a website in the normal sense we're not going to be doing any coding and as you'll see um, you know our sniper site is literally going to be set up within within minutes with, with basically no work at all as I'm, as I'm going to show you in this video however it is still physically a website and there's going to be two major components to a website okay the first component um, is going to be a domain name. Now, a domain name is essentially www.whatever.com, with the whatever part being what's called your domain name. Okay, so for example, if you um, go to google.com, that is a domain name, Google. Okay, if you go to facebook.com, the domain name is Facebook. Okay, so you need a domain name now with Sniper as you've uh, hopefully read in the manual it's uh, super simple basically what we're aiming for is your domain name is simply going to be your keyword okay so if your website is how to lose weight quickly your website is ideally going to be how to lose weight quickly dot com or how to lose weight quickly dot org or something like that okay or maybe adding on you know another word on the end or something like that but essentially trying to get as close to that as possible and that's all covered in the manual so I'm not going to spend too much time on that but essentially you've got that one component your domain name and the second component is going to be hosting okay now if I had to explain that to you you know your website is essentially a an asset and to have that asset you know you can't have that running from your computer because your computer is not always on so you need it to kind of run kind of you know out there in the cloud you know um, sort of 24 7 you need your website to operate so you need what's called hosting because then all your files that form your website and create your website um, or your sniper site in this case um, you know can always be accessed by the public and people can always visit your, your site obviously I mean, if people can't visit your site you're not going to make any money now these are really basic things and the majority of you watching probably you know already understand what a domain and hosting is but I just wanted to kind of remind um, now remind everyone and the the next thing I'm going to do in a minute is kind of cut through a lot of the crap out there and just give you guys um, you know an actual good hosting company to use and a cheap one as well um, but we'll talk about that in a second so essentially those are those are the tools that you're going to need to actually host your sniper site host your business um, whatever it is you're going to do online, it doesn't matter what system out there, you're always at some point going to need a website. And that is the fact, and you're going to need hosting. The good news is, for those of you that are completely new, it's extremely, extremely cheap. Okay, You're looking at about you know, $5 a month or something like that. I mean, it's incredibly cheap, and that is hosting for several websites, not just one. Okay so that could mean you can have 10 sniper sites so that means sure for your first one you're gonna have to spring for that five bucks a month now if, if, for those of you watching that are complete news I want you to understand this isn't like some extra you know I'm kinda of pushing on you as as a you know as someone that's joined Google Sniper okay this is just the absolute basics that you need it's a bit like me telling you in order to write something on a computer you're going to need um, a keyboard or something like that. You know, it's kind of all Microsoft Word. It's kind of you, you're just going to need these certain things. Okay. Um, yeah. So the good news is it's really cheap. So no matter how many you have, for example, my account here with this particular host, um, you know, I've got I think a 30 or 40 uh, websites on here. Okay, and that's all on one thing, all for five dollars a month, and I've had it for I think six years now. 
Um, so it's pretty good. Now there are obviously more expensive ones, but then but they're not worth doing, and we're going to go into those in a second. Now the real quick thing I do want to cover is obviously I did say if you don't want to spend any money at all, um, you can actually set up a free site, a completely free site using uh, wordpress.com and then your domain will be you know how to lose weight quickly dot wordpress.com okay and to do that all you do is you go to wordpress.com and you click on uh, get started and then you kind of just go through you sign up using your email address you, you know invent a username you create your blog address which would be you know how to lose uh, weight quickly you know just for this example keyword dot com wordpress you know it's super simple um, oh, little spelling error there. <laughs> um, you know, that's what you would use, blah, 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 and then you just go through it. However, and this is really important, I really do not recommend that you do this. And the reason for this is essentially Google Sniper, or Sniper as a strategy, relies on Google. Okay, it relies on our ranking in Google, and Google doesn't really like these free websites that much. Okay, so it's a good place to start if you really you know if you really do not want to spend any money whatsoever like I said sniping can be a hundred percent free however I highly highly recommend you know if you're serious about it or you do need to get yourself a website host in any course you buy and anyone who's you know um, not totally full of rubbish is going to tell you that you're going to need a host okay so you can do this way I just wanted to show you it really quickly but moving on let's create the foundation to your sniper site. Really quick, what else am I going to show you in this video? I'm not just going to show you um, you know, how to find a domain, how to get the hosting. I'm also going to show you how to change the kind of look and feel of our sniper site really quickly. Pick a theme, it's called, um, within WordPress, and also some really essential plugins that we're going to need for our sniper site later on. Okay, So that's what's going to come at the end of the video. So it's quite an important video, this one. Okay. Now, the next thing is um, you know, actually setting up the site, which I'm going to do in a second. But first, I just want to talk for a second about um, hosting companies. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, hosting companies out there, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of companies which, um, while you know they do deliver a good product, you know, hosting, they deliver it for too much money. They kind of, to be honest with you, it's it's a bit upsetting. They try and kind of confuse the consumer into thinking you need to spend thirty dollars a month um, you know for for a hosting plan when actually there's perfectly good ones out there for five dollars a month and the reason people recommend those is because they make more money referring you to those however you know we're, we're not about sort of you know putting the crap out there with with sniper as I, as I hope you know um, so I'm, I, I actually recommend the one that I use um, which is a, a cheap one it's been really reliable like I said I've had you know, might have a, a couple of you know issues with them over the past six years, but nothing really. And I've hosted you know so many websites with them. I've got multiple accounts with them, and they've been great. And, and also many snipers use them as well. And they're going to be Bluehost, okay? Um, just to give you an example um, of a of a different um, service, but, but even Bluehost. So. So here's here's the service I recommend essentially, which is just going to be your basic hosting, okay? And what that's going to be is it's, it's going to be 275 a month. This is a deal they have going at the moment. When you watch this video, this may not be going. I'm afraid. I apologise. Um, and that's only I think if you sign up for like three years or something as well. So you may not want to do that anyway. But normal price, it's going to be seven bucks a month. Um, it's so cheap, especially because you're getting unlimited hosting. You can have as many web uh, visitors as you want. And by the way. I've used this. I've had millions of visitors um, to my websites with Bluehost. I've really kind of exploited them. You know, for example, this site you're on right now, the Google site for members area, because we get so many visitors, I have to host it on what's called a dedicated server, and that costs me a thousand dollars a month. Okay, but for some many of my sniper sites, I, I have them on Bluehost. Um, and like I said, I've put millions of visitors through them, and they they do hold true pretty much to their unlimited hosting. They're a, they're a really good company. Um, to work with. Now, here's the example I want to show you. Bluehost are even doing it, and they're doing this thing called optimized hosting for WordPress. Now, as you know, WordPress is fantastic, um, and that's what we're going to be building our sniper site on the platform. It's going to enable us to build it really quickly without any code. Um, Google loves it, etc. It's awesome. However, you know, Bluehost, and if we click learn more here, 
you're actually going to see they're telling you it's going to be 35 bucks a month okay now this isn't this is the this is low there are some companies out there which say you need to spend you know upwards of um 70 dollars a month okay you know to get optimized hosting for wordpress but here's a big tip for you guys you saved uh, a lot of money watching this video you don't need that hosting okay you can just get the basic hosting it's super simple just get the basic hosting and then once you're inside you can just install wordpress with the click of a button you don't need to fall for the uh, for those marketing ploys okay so hopefully i've kind of steered you out of the woods there and you know there's there's a lot of companies out there for hosting so by all means use whatever one you want um you know you certainly don't need to use this one okay but like i said it's the one i use um, so all you need to do for example if you were going to use bluehost is right below this video there's a link right there click on that link it's going to take you over to bluehost.com it's going to take you to a page just like this one uh, for snipers and then you're going to press get started now um, here you go and then basically this is the sign up page like i said this may have changed as well slightly but it should be basically the same by the time you come along and here you're going to type in your domain name okay so this is what i said earlier so for example for for this sniper site i i know that that domain is taken so i'm just going to choose one which i'm sure won't be so how to lose weight within 65 days it's a very unusual one and I'm just picking it as this example because I'm sure it will be available so if we click next um, congratulations it's available if it's not available for example if I should have to lose weight quickly because that's quite a common keyword as we identified in the last video has quite a lot of competition um, it just says it's not available and it asks, gives you the option to change it. Okay, that's all. But just to proceed quickly, I just chose one that I know will be. Um, so, um, all you do is type in first name, etc. You don't need a business, don't worry about all that stuff. Email address, etc. Then you click your package information. As I said, um, 36 month price, they're trying to charge you 275 a month. However, Check this at 12 month price, which is what I would go for. That's going to, you know, basically, once you build your sniper site and once you're making money, you know, you could easily pick the 36 month one, to be honest. Um, it, you know, it, it makes no difference to me, but I, you know, just to start with, it's probably going to be, I mean, to be honest with you, when I started online, I picked the 12 month one. Um, to just pick the 12 month one, it's not even 6.99 a month, that's pretty cool. It's $3.75 a month, nice and easy. You don't need any of the extras, to be honest with you. Um, you. The only one you might want is domain privacy protection. That's just so no one can see who owns the domain, but I don't see why you would need that. You don't really need anything here, to be honest with you. Site Backup Pro, I mean, any other stuff, to be honest. Um, and you can look into the information. You, you can use it if you're on Search Engine Jumpstart. Potentially could be worth it. Um, not really sure. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and sign up into your credit card information, and you're done. Okay? super simple and that's how you do it like i said don't have to do it with bluehost do it with whoever you want okay then once you've created your account or if you've already got a um a hosting account now's where it gets interesting okay now we're actually going to build our sniper site so you're going to come into your hosting panel and hopefully you're going to have one that has c panel okay if you don't have a hosting account that has c panel well um you're either a very advanced programmer or you made, I'm sorry to say, a terrible choice. Okay, so hopefully your one has cPanel. They all should. And it's just going to look like this and it's going to give you a whole load of buttons which make it kind of easy to tell a bunch of things. For example, if we uh, scroll down here, you're going to see uh, AW stats and a bunch of other things here, latest visitors. And you can, you later on when you're getting visitors and you're making money from your sniper sites, you're actually going to be able to see the number of people coming, how many people came this day, how many people came that day, etc. It's kind of cool. Um, but what we're going to focus on now is just creating the sniper site. Super simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to look on this page for, for WordPress. That's it. This is why you don't need that really fancy um, $35 a month uh, you know, hosting or anything. Okay. So for Bluehost, it's right here at the top, nice and easy. And it's just going to be just going to click on WordPress right here nice and simple and then that's going to bring up a page and what this is going to do is this little creator is it's going to going to kind of create our sniper site for us in the background without us really doing any work okay so how do we do it well 
you come to this page and we're just going to click install a brand new instance so we're installing something new if you import don't bother with any of that stuff it's install a new wordpress blog that's what we're trying to do okay so i just click on that and then we wait um, and then you're going to select which domain you want to install so if you've only just signed up your only your likelihood is you're only going to have one okay so you're going to have um you know you're just going to have how to lose weight quickly dot com or you know whatever or just that's just an example okay in this example though because I've got very many I'm just going to pick you don't want to pick the ones with www by the way you want to scroll down and pick without www because that's the actual site um, that we're you know that you're building on and then that's all you do is you click your domain and you click uh, check domain and that would be all you do now in this instance I actually have some stuff over at uh, George's Club which I just used for some examples so I'm going to put it in a directory so the domain of my snipe site isn't going to be georgesclub.com it's going to be georgesclub.com forward slash uh, uh, sniper site for example okay super simple for you obviously it's going to be how to lose weight quickly dot com you don't want to enter anything in this field because otherwise that's where it's, that's where it's going to create your sniper site and if anyone goes to how to lose weight quickly dot com and doesn't type in that forward slash they're kind of going to be um a little bit confused as to why there's nothing there so just don't fill that in basically okay now we're just going to press check domain it's going to check the domain um may take a couple of minutes see how we go um in the meantime guys um I hope you're enjoying video three. You know you're uh, you're sort of coming along with your sniper site now. You've picked, you've done the hardest parts. You've picked your product, you've picked your keyword, and those may have taken a while. And they're actually, especially if it's your first time, those are the hardest parts. Now that that's over, building the site is actually extremely easy and simple. And then for your next site, you know, finding the keyword and finding the product, especially, will be much easier. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So last step we're almost there now we just want to show advanced options now this may look slightly different on your screen when you sign up but just you know there'll be something like this there and you're just going to give your site a name okay so site name or title so for example what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to call this just for this example I'm just going to call it sniper site um, but for your example it's going to be the same as the domain or it's going to be your keyword okay so essentially if your keyword was how to lose weight quickly this would be how to lose weight quickly or if your domain was um, get six pack abs in a month it would be you know get six pack abs in a month Okay, it would just be something like that. Okay, that would be the title of your site. Now, if you wanted to make it a bit clever, you could add on something like that. Adding on how to or or tips to the end or something like that isn't going to affect it in any way. It just makes it a bit more readable. Okay, so that basically they're just going to put the keyword you found in the previous video. Then you're going to create your username, so you can just make that pretty much whatever you want. I'm just going to make mine George. Um, and then I'm just going to put George here as the password as well for the time being leave that ticked I'm just going to press this and I'm going to press install now and that's it we've done all we've done is press literally two buttons gone from two different screens entered in a tab and that's just going to automatically create the site for us which is pretty cool so I'm going to press install now now if it comes up with any uh, any uh this is again you know um uh, the field must be between okay so we need to make a password so what if i put it as george123 and george123 i'll just put it as that all right so um we're just waiting for it to install now some of these hosts what they do bluehost isn't too bad but some of them will now present something to you uh okay so bluehost presents something a little to you they kind of say there's a progress bar etc actually it's already set up is the likelihood so you just need to close whatever they're offering you these themes we're actually going to get them for free um, so we're just going to go ahead and close that and um, the likelihood is you can see a bar right up here and you can see it actually being created um, but the likelihood is it's actually already created so if we um, tab over here to Google we'll probably already go there right now 
and I just uh, make this a little bit smaller for you so you guys can see it and you can see actually the process is done your install is complete that was super quick bam done you know 20 seconds and you'll see now that our, um, that our thing is built so if we go to uh, what was it George's club.com forward slash sniper site you'll see the sh very shell and it's only a shell but it's still there is here of your sniper site right now pretty cool isn't it so this is it right here and then from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and log in and then we're going to um, if I just full screen this we're going to go ahead and actually I'm going to show you how to pick a theme we're going to make this look a whole lot better and get some plugins but your sniper site is there it took you know pretty quickly indeed and now so to continue what we're going to do is we're going to build the actual we've got our sniper site set up and now we're going to kind of set up a few little foundations okay and the first step of that is I want to for those of you that have never used WordPress before for the complete beginners among you just introduce you to um, WordPress basically so what we're going to do is we're going to go down uh, over here on the left and we're going to click login okay um, just like I showed you a second ago and basically this is just your login page and this is going to kind of provide you access to um, you, your whole sniper site okay so I'm just entering the let me just enter that in again not sure if I did that right. Um, the username and password you created a minute ago when we installed the WordPress blog. We're going to press remember. Um, we're just going to press login. And then what this is going to do is essentially this is how you log in to actually, I guess you could call it the back office of your sniper site. Okay. This is where you kind of um, will be building your sniper site this is where we'll be creating a lot of the content we're going to go ahead and actually do a lot of the setup work now we're going to I'm going to show you how to make your site look a lot cooler really quickly look really nice so that you know um, you know it looks nice to you and also to your visitors and you know hopefully it makes you a bit more money I'm going to help you install some uh, some pretty crucial little plugins that will give you a big boost in the eyes of Google and therefore help your site as well and then later on we're going to be doing a few more things and you're going to be you know creating your actual posts and everything all within this uh, sort of command uh, interface I guess you could call it that we're seeing right here okay so this is like the back office of your sniper site so there's no coding at all it's actually super super simple um, to use okay so first thing we're going to do I don't want you to get <clears throat> overwhelmed by anything you know this jetpack and things like this here we're just going to close that down we don't need that stuff um, you don't need to buy anything okay I've kind of gone you know over that a lot in this video um, don't buy any of the upgrades that you know you might see here and there they're just companies you know they're trying to put adverts there and just trying to make a bit of money understandably um, all right so the first thing that I want to show you guys how to do is so we're here at the dashboard and the first thing we want to do is I want to show you how to make your site look a bit cooler so what we're going to do is we're going to be choosing what's called a theme okay now it's super simple all we're going to do is we're going to come in here to so you've got a bunch of tabs here so for example posts that's going to be the content you're making plugins we'll go over in a minute um, you know marketplace you don't need to worry really about that but we're going to go over appearance okay and then this might vary a little bit on your one it, it does tend to vary um, okay depending on what hosting company you've got and things like that but so we're going to go into with appearance and then we're going to go into themes okay now just as a reminder um, just to show you really quickly what that uh, site actually looks like at the moment I'm just going to pull that up here so this is what our sniper site looks like at the moment not very impressive now here we've got um, a bunch of themes basically okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a new theme and these themes within one click completely change the way a website looks okay um, now you have to remember that they change as well depending on once you've added content so you can see the theme we have now actually if I zoom in looks like that once it's got content which looks quite nice whereas right now obviously it just looks like this very basic okay that's because we haven't written anything yet but we will um, so 
Anyway, what we need to do is we need to add a new theme. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come over here on the right. Like I said, this may look slightly different on yours, but basically you're going to themes and you're just adding a new theme. And then once in there, it's pretty cool, you know, because this is something that when I first wrote Google Sniper um, used to take quite a lot of time. You have to go to a separate website and do a whole bunch of stuff, whereas now it's actually very, very simple. Um, you can do it right within the WordPress blog, which was really a bit of a revolution in terms of, you know, making it even easier than it already was to kind of make money, um, you know, and get these sniper sites up. Uh, so we're in the theme marketplace. Now, what I like to do is you've got a whole bunch of ones here. Now, we're looking for ones. I kind of talk about this in the manual, but not every theme is going to work. OK, so this theme, for example, is not going to work. This one's not going to work. A lot of these themes aren't really going to be what we want for what I would call maximum conversions. Okay, and when I say maximum conversions, um, you know, I say it in a slightly different way in the manual. What I mean is the site that's going to make you the most money, basically, the site where people are going to go to your sniper site and they're going to click through to your link to buy the product on ClickBank that you just picked. Okay. That's basically what I'm saying. So you don't want some themes which are kind of more focused on looking at pictures or something like that. No, people are coming to our site with a focus. We want to get them interested and we want to get them off to something that they can buy. Okay. So for our themes, for example, I'm just scrolling through some here. The ones that typically work best are ones like this. Okay. So we can press pre preview and that's going to actually bring up what that theme would look like. And this is a good theme because it's a nice, simple theme. Okay, we're going to have our posts here, which are going to be talking about whatever subject <clears throat> you know we're doing, whether it's six packs, whether whatever it is. And then over here, we're going to have some information about us and a few other things. And this is what I like to call one of the templates that's going to work best. Okay, for a sniper site. Now, there's a lot more information on this in the manual. Oops. So I've come back. Now I'm just going to go back into add new theme. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm not spending too much time because I'm aware this video is already pretty long, is I'm just going to pick a kind of theme at random, um, and we're going to and we're just going to roll with that one. Okay, so if I just scroll through here, see what we can find, see which I think is the best looking one. I personally, you know, I'm um, not the most design. Um, a heavy guy. It's always a real challenge for me to design new things, like the, like the uh, sniper members area, for example. Um, see, and certain themes, I just want to show you actually, right? But I prefer simpler themes, is what I'm getting at there. But I just want to show you this really quickly because this is an interesting um, theme. If I press that preview, here we go. If you had a, uh, if you were focusing on the ladies of the world, for example. So, for example, if you had a sniper site that was, you know, related to, you know, pregnancy or something like that, perhaps this might be a good theme. It's quite nice, or you know, one that was related to romance, things like that. This would be a good theme for that. Okay, so different themes fit different niches. So bear that in mind when you're picking. Okay, or you can just kind of pick a simple one. For example, this one right here is quite good. It's got the books. It looks fairly educational. And if you look educational, people are going to kind of trust you. Okay, so that could be a good one right there. There's loads of these themes, you know. It's, it's certainly not hard to choose, um, you know, a good theme for a sniper site. There's so many out there. And it's, you know, it's quite a fun activity as well. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of getting a bit involved here. I really do love building these, uh, these little sniper sites. Um, so... If I just pick one here, da, da, da. Uh, let's just keep going. As you can see, you can pretty much just scroll it through forever, and the and the, the it's amazing. You can just install any of these just with one click, and the difference between them is huge. It really is. Um, so for this example, let's say I'm just going to go ahead and pick. Um, something. I'm just, I'm just looking for something that's a little bit more. I feel closely related to my niche, um, but also something that's, you know, not too complicated. Just for this example, um, this one could be okay. Let's have a look at this one. So we just press preview. Look at that. Um, 
to be honest with you. I think this one will do. As you can see by this button up here, it has a little sidebar and stuff like that. Here it doesn't have it because it hasn't been enabled. Um, but, you know, I think this one will do pretty well. I'm not, I'm not sure about that pink, though, to be honest. Um, let's just keep having a look. <coughs> Uh, I think there was one I saw up here that was quite nice. I quite like this one, Bass. <clears throat> this is quite a nice theme. Um, I've actually used this one, uh, used this one before. It's really simple. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with this one. Now, when you've picked the theme you want to use, okay, let's just press close on that. You can see the theme right here on the right. All we're going to do is we're going to press install, okay? really simple that's it we're going to press that one button right there and we're just going to go through a little process now and this process is just going to completely um, change the uh, look of our website okay so you can see in the background here WordPress has gone and done all this work for us successfully installed the theme so the theme is now installed the next thing you need to do is you need to activate the theme otherwise it won't be live so it's now activated now I can switch back to this one right here, which is the one we had before, because they're already installed, okay? Or we can stick with this one like we want to do. Now to show you the change, if I go right here and I click Refresh, you'll see this page change completely. Bam! And that's it. That's how simple it was. We've got a completely new blog. Now, in my opinion, this is a much better theme, because we're going to have, you know, what our site's about right here. Then we're going to have our posts right here we're going to have for example our first link to the clickbank product really visible really nice and easy to see excuse me we're going to have our about me post over here this is a nice and simple one you know but there's so many you can choose i don't want you to just stick to the simple ones in some ways it's too white you know it may not be the best but it's i've used it before like i said and it's, it's certainly good enough for this demonstration okay so after that we're going to come back in here. We've picked our theme. We're going to head back to the dashboard. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up some plugins. Okay. Now, the purpose of these plugins um, is essentially to help us in various aspects of our sniper sites. Okay. So one of them is going to make our links look more attractive, which I'll explain later on in another video. Um, and a, a few of the others, they're going to kind of help Google to find us and basically get more people to our website by ranking a little bit higher in Google. They're just going to kind of give us a bit of a, a sneaky little head start, okay? Okay, and to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to go over here again, over to the left-hand side, we're going to click on Plugins, and then we're just gonna, not going to go to Install Plugins, we're going to go to Add New, okay? Now, this again, this used to be even more of a pain, to be honest with you. You used to have to go to a separate website, download a huge zip file, get an FTP file transfer protocol thing, and upload it to your website. And, you know, and even then, sniper sites only used to take a few hours. So this, again, is something which has helped us a lot. Now, there's loads of plugins that do all sorts of stuff, and some of them you might find really useful. So it's definitely worth having a look through. And plugins are essentially... Um, things that come in to assist you with the way your site is built and they're unique to WordPress which is pretty cool because otherwise if you had a regular website with coding etc you would have to build all this functionality in yourself um, but anyway I don't want to bog you down too much okay now the first thing that you're going to need to get is a really important one okay and this is something you can see I've searched that before obviously um, is the all-in-one SEO pack Okay, now this is a plugin I have been, some of them have, have come in more recently, but this one I have recommended since the very beginning. It's very core to your, since I wrote the very first Google Sniper manual, this is very core to your whole Sniper site. Um, and it's just going to help your site, because ultimately what we want to do, obviously, is we want our Sniper site to, for example, be at the top when someone searches how to lose weight fast. Okay, this is going to help you substantially. Um, get up there in the rankings okay um, so we're going to type that and then you click search plugins then you have it here now if you want more information you can go ahead and click details um, and like I said this may look slightly different on um, you know on your uh, on your screen when you're going through it but it should be basically the same so the all-in-one SEO pack etc just going to press install now okay now this is a really key 
plugin and it does need to be configured as well but this is something um, I go over in the manual with all with, with the plugins or if not that it's covered in a later video okay so in this video I'm just showing you how to get the plugins so the next thing you want to do obviously with each of the plugins we're going to do you just want to activate the plugin while we're here okay now because this is a new site and we haven't built any content yet we're not going to worry about actually um, you know filling it in or anything we're just going to activate it for the time being and that's enough stuff so plugin activated you can now see it here under the list all in one SEO pack blah 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 um, and now we just proceed to the next one that we're going to do okay um, we're going to press add new and this next plugin is actually really key as well and it's a big time saver um, and it's called the pretty link uh, cloaker if I just type in pretty link Pretty Link Lite we're going for. There's a paid version, but you certainly don't need that. Pretty Link Lite, this is all we need. And basically, what this is going to do is it's going to make our links look better. So those big, long links you've got from ClickBank, we're going to go ahead and make those look a lot more attractive so that more people click on them, basically, and more people visit the website of the product that you're promoting as an affiliate, essentially. Okay, so we're just going to press Install now. So it's really simple. Exactly the same thing. And just give that a second to install and then we're just going to press activate plugin again and then we're just going to do this for a few others okay so if we go over here again over to add new just going to go a bit faster now there's another one we want to get called stat press reloaded and what this is going to do this is actually a pretty cool plugin because um, oh, where is it I think I've typed it in wrong, hold on. A second here. Um, step press. Is it reloaded? Do they still do the reloaded version? Here we go. Yeah, exactly. We got there in the end, guys. <laughs> and then what this is going to do basically is this the reloaded the reason I wanted the reloaded is as you can see it's a, a slightly improved version or highly improved version of the stack press this is pretty cool because this is basically going to let you see um, how many people are visiting your sniper site which is obviously a really important thing to know okay now this wasn't in the original sniper so this is pretty cool um, as well that you can now just within the actual blog itself track within this you know page as you're seeing right here track you know oh I've had 50 visitors today or oh, this week I've only had you know I've had a hundred less visitors than I did the week before what's going on and it will help you identify problems with your website or you know that the site's doing particularly well for example you might have 10,000 people visiting your sniper site a month but you're not making any sales but the fact that we know you're getting that many visitors that can help weed down what the problem might be and then we can fix it for example okay so that's a really cool one so we got those three we're just going to add um, a couple more um, in here we're going to add in WP super cache um, and what this is going to do is basically you, you've all you all know what a, a website's like when it loads slowly it's not that good and often you might go to a website looking at lose weight for example and if the site's going to take 15 seconds to load you're never even going to read it you're just going to click away so what this does is it just kind of makes your um, website load a little bit faster okay which again this can really help especially if, if your sniper site ends up making a lot of money you're going to be thankful you got this one getting a lot of visits because even though it's not going to make a huge difference it's going to make you you know let's say you know 10 15 20 percent more money potentially okay just because you're not losing those people as much to have a slow internet connection okay that, that don't want to wait for your website to load um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to press add new again and we're going to add in something called dig dig and dig dig is basically a plugin which is going to um, kind of allow you to do some s integration with social media okay now this isn't something we're going to do right away the core of the sniper system isn't necessarily about that but it can't hurt if someone likes your website and then they share it with their friends on Facebook it's going to do really well and particularly if we move on to bulletproofing your sniper site this is going to really um, really help you out okay so dig dig we're just going to press install now like I said this isn't one we're going to worry about straight away but this is something that will be helpful in the future 
we go ahead and press that. We're going to activate the plugin. Okay. Give it a second there. And now you can see all the plugins that we've got. Stat press reloaded, WP Super Cache, Pretty Link Light. We've got them all here, okay? And then there's just two more that we need and we're done. And these ones are really simple. I don't even really need to spend much time describing them. Okay, one of them is Google XML sitemaps. This is just going to allow Google to kind of come into our sniper site and, um, you know, and, and index it a little bit easier, okay, um, which, is, which is pretty simple. So that means, obviously, Google is going to need to... Um, visit our website in order to actually put us on Google basically and this is just going to make it as easy for them to do um, as possible okay now in terms of which one we're going to go for here typically it was Google XML sitemap however this one does look pretty good let me see um, I don't know I think I'm just going to stick with the original one stick with this one here Google XML sitemaps press install now super easy you know the process by now so we get our themes we install them we come in here we just install a few of these obviously if I'm not talking so much it doesn't take half as long <laughs> and then finally there's just um, there's just one more that we're going to go ahead and install um, and that is auto privacy it's going to type that in hopefully that will bring it up for us and this is just an automatic terms of service and privacy policy which is something you need to have by law on your website now obviously it's a pain to write this stuff so what this does is it just makes it for you which is nice and easy so it gives you an automatic terms of service and a privacy policy on your website nice and nice and easy and then we activate plugin And that's it. We're done. Okay, so we've got our SEO pack. We've got our automatic terms of service and privacy policy. So we're, you know, up to date with everything we need by law. We've got our dig dig, in case people want to share links to our blog on Facebook, get us some more visitors, and we might be using that later on. We've got our site maps to help Google as much as we possibly can, um, you know, find and index our website. We've got Pretty Link Lite, which we'll be using later on in a video, as you'll see. We've got, we can stat, stat press reloaded. We can see how many people are visiting our sites. And then finally, we've got the Super Cache, which is kind of going to allow people to visit our website and it load a lot faster, okay, which probably save us a few sales, okay. So, just going to head back to the dashboard. We've got our theme installed. And that's it for this video. We have now created, you, you've now created, if this is your first one, uh, the foundations for your first sniper site. So well done. Um, head back to the manual now, and I will see you in the next video. Later on, we're going to be configuring um, some of these plugins. Not all of them need configuring, but some of them do. And we're going to start actually populating our sniper site with a bunch of different content and other stuff. So all pretty exciting stuff to come. Head back to the manual, and I'll see you in the next video.